Okay guys, getting straight into the video. Uh, you're gonna need a bunch of shit to make these uh, brownies. I've already preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius? Uh, Fahrenheit? Okay. 350 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. And then 180 degrees Celsius, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, guys. Listen. I'm gonna put the everything up here it's going to be on the screen and also i'll put the recipe in the description box below so our oven is preheating so now it's time to start making these motherfucking brownies hi in case you're new my name is wape um i post videos just about lifestyle and whatever so if that's something you're interested in please be sure to subscribe if you want to i'm not forcing you to do anything but i have already melted my butter Okay, wait. Hey, look at me. I'm so disorganized. I don't even have the recipe. So this is the recipe I actually got from my friend. I don't know where she got it from, but it is a bomb brownie recipe. So, we're going to be tripling the recipe, guys. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. I failed math in high school. Like, when I tell you I failed, like, I failed. But when it comes to fractions and baking, best believe I'm a mathematician in the kitchen. I'm not even, I'm not even capping, like... <laughs> It's so easy guys, like, but fractions, when it comes to stuff I'm interested in, mwah. so this is the only time that you need math, kind of, if you want. Anyway, so, uh, we're going to put the dry ingredients first, because I don't want to use, I want to use the dry ingredients in the measuring cups first. Yay! I'm going to show you guys what my, my setup looks like for my... All my ingredients let me just show you because some of you are visual learners so even if i put the recipe on the screen you won't know what i'm what i'm doing so let me just show you all the ingredients and then you can see okay guys i'm back with a little napkin an apron on i've already measured this out this is um one and a half cups of flour because the original recipe calls for a half cup so we're tripling it it's up to you if you want to double triple it or leave the recipe the way it is i want quite a bit of brownie so i'm tripling the recipe so we have one and a half cups of flour in here just fyi i washed my hands because ew you don't want dirty hands we're just doing dry ingredients in this bowl uh next is sugar so the recipe calls for three quarter cups of sugar of course we're tripling it so that means we're gonna have one and a half cups for sugar see i told you guys i was good at math when it comes to baking you can find i'm doing the wrong thing all this time so uh next is cocoa it calls for a third of a cup i'm not even gonna cap i don't know how to add that so we're just gonna do three of these uh one third cups Okay, now we've added all the dry ingredients, well, except for one. I have instant coffee here. If you don't know why you use coffee in baking, it's because coffee brings out the chocolate flavor, the cocoa. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. It brings out the flavor. Okay, guys, now that we have all the dry ingredients mixed, we're doing the wet ingredients. Here I have one and a half cups of butter. Um, and six eggs because the original recipe calls for two eggs so we're gonna do six Now we're just going to mix all of this shit together. Okay. 
Okay, guys, this shit is completely combined. Look at how yum it looks. I've already prepped my baking. Um, what? I put I put baking paper down so that it doesn't stick. Yeah, so let's just put this shit in. Okay, I'm just going to put this in the oven. Uh, the recipe says 25 to 30 minutes, but I'm going to check in after 20 minutes. So the way to tell is just poke through the middle, and if there's still uncooked um, uh, brownie, then just leave it in for like five more minutes. That's usually what it Guys! Uh, ah! That's usually what I do with the brownies, but I'll check in with you guys when the brownies are completely baked and we can decorate them. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I'm going to be real with you guys. These brownies did not come out the way they usually do. I think it's because I tripled the recipe. I've never tripled it before. So please, just stick to the original recipe. Don't double or triple anything. Please. Almost, yeah, j just don't do that. So I've melted some white chocolate and we're just going to pour it all over the brownies. Okay, now we've put the white on. I know it's looking rough, guys, but it doesn't matter. It's about the taste. So I've got some dark chocolate and this little scoopy thingy. And we're just going to use that to drizzle. Okay, and then for the final step, I know it's a lot, um, I crushed up this little pack of Oreos and we're just going to sprinkle these all over the top. Okay guys, this is what the brownies look like completely done and cut. They look so cute, oh my god. Like wow, it doesn't even matter if they don't taste that good, they look great. And I made the video anyways. So yeah guys, let's just do a little taste test of these brownies. Okay guys, the best part, the taste test. So I'm gonna get like the prettiest looking one. Ooh, <laughs> look at how beautiful she looks. Okay. It's good. It's good. Please just just follow the recipe I put on the screen. Don't double or triple the recipe. Just do it like the way it is in the picture. This is so good. Bye.